Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney and we're answering a question that was posted yesterday, February the 24th of 2022 from avo.com. Uh, and it was posted from Oakland, California. Can I file a sexual assault charge on my boss if he tried to kiss me and grab my butt while he was drunk on the job 10 years ago? I was working as a waitress in his restaurant where he paid me only tips and attempted to kiss me and grab me. Okay, so um, that is definitely a claim, except it was 10 years ago. So here's the issue. It's going to depend on your jurisdiction. Um, under federal law, no, that is not going to be timely in terms of sexual harassment. You have, depending on the state, either 180 days or 300 days to get something filed with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. So your federal rights are going to be extinguished unless you can prove something called the continuing violation doctrine, which um, would essentially, I mean, the, the simplest way, and this is a hyper, -simpli hyper simplified way to describe it, if this has been going on for the intervening 10 years, all this time, then it could be treated as still timely. Now, that's your federal law. You're in Oakland, California. And I am not allowed to advise you as to the state laws of California because attorney ethics um, and bar associations who love old white men and don't like competition and haven't really caught up with like 2022 yet. So what I can tell you is that in most jurisdictions, that claim would not be timely any longer. In New York State, you would have had about three years. Now, does not mean that it's definitely not timely in your state. You should speak to a local employment attorney Every jurisdiction is different. Every jurisdiction has a different statute of limitations. Uh, but in most jurisdictions, this would no longer be timely. Now, if you're still working for this person and there's any act of retaliation, if there's anything in the past a couple of, of years, that would change things drastically, right? If, if there's been no contact with this person for 10 years, there's a chance this person might get away with it, which I hate. I don't like that one bit. But, you know, think about every interaction you've had with this, with this person, this perpetrator, this essentially person who committed sexual assault, right? Grabbing at you and, and all these things. Um, think of every interaction in the last 10 years and think of uh, especially any negative interaction. Because if there's anything more recent, well, that's something you're going to want to talk to that local attorney about. Um, let's make sure we're leaving no stone unturned in terms of... Uh, getting this guy for what he did. Okay. I hope this is helpful. If it is, consider liking and subscribing. That does help me to help more people just like you. And uh, I will check the comments on this video if you have any follow-up questions, but I will not be allowed to comment upon California state law. Sorry.